What's going on, YouTubers? I wanted to give you guys a quick statue display update. Uh, I've posted several of these pictures on my Instagram, but for those of you who don't follow it, I uh, wanted to make a video for you guys. So as you can see, my couch is gone. I went to Ikea literally two minutes after I sold that couch and bought this Ikea Stupa. So this is the... I think this is really meant for like a TV display, but it's basically a 47 inch wide stuva. So it's 19 inches deep. You get about 23 and a half inches inside, which can fit an average one four scale statue quite nicely. As you can see, I did buy the Dior door lighting just because it was there and it's cheaper than the Amazon one. And then uh, I don't know if this will fit per se. I need to get my uh, couch. I'm getting a home theater seat craft pantheon uh, single seater recliner that's going to go right there i have 48 inches in width before it hits shelves and uh that, that one is 45 inches so i have about three inches to spare i could probably move it forward a little bit and still be able to keep the troy bus there because it looks good but obviously ecc freddie and jason are both arriving both have shipped so Freddy arrives first. He'll be arriving on Friday. So he's going to go on the left. I'm also getting this really sick looking Jason Freddy art print. It's going to be 24 by 36 inches big. So it's going to cover this wall really nicely. And also have both COAs uh, wall mounted just like I have with the that, that pair over there, the Underworld. And then Jason, uh, he shipped DHL. He'll arrive on Tuesday possibly could be earlier but obviously Jason's gonna go right there Jason is 45 inches tall technically that'll be my tallest statue uh, it's taller than the half scales so he's gonna that to the top of that's gonna be like that it's gonna be I mean that's 38 inches so it's gonna be really big that lamp post very very excited for both Freddie and Jason uh, and then to the right where you currently see my one four scale Myers will be the one third pop culture shock Myers now, I wanted to get the exclusive because I think this has probably the best exclusive ever considering how much you get with the exclusive. However, that's long sold out, limited to 150 and it goes for 5000 on eBay. So obviously I'm not going to pay that. So what I did is I bought the regular version, but I'm going to make my own exclusive because some of those exclusive parts you can easily make. The only thing you can't truly make... Uh, well, I mean, you, you sort of could, but it's the switch out hand holding the bloody knife. I mean, you could bloody the normal knife, but you wouldn't have a as a switch out. But I also bought a custom pumpkin one third, as well as I'm commissioning a one third tombstone from someone that makes tombstones on Etsy. So I will be displaying. Those are the two main things I wanted. I didn't care for the white robe or glasses. I would never display that. But I definitely wanted the classic pumpkin, which you see right here. This is the one-fourth version, so the one-third is going to be about double that size. Because uh, I definitely wanted to have the classic pumpkin, uh, as well as the tombstone, because those are quite crucial to the movie. Even got the 4K original Halloween in uh, as well, so I can re-watch that. I watched it a few weeks ago for the very first time, but I do want to watch it again in 4K when I get the statue. So obviously the PCS one will be much better than him. Go to about right there, maybe at 32 inches tall. I have installed lighting as well, so let me show that to you. So I installed lighting now with Chucky, lighting there. I even installed the lighting for that, so it turns on in the blinking mode, which I like the best. So lighting's all set up. And then over here, uh, I don't know if this is 100% final, but I do quite like it. So the idea was to have the two bus on each side, and that bus looks good from that angle. So. And then the mummy gets the middle center spot because he's my favorite in there, of course. But the endo with the arm actually looks really good inside of a stuva, better than it did on the glass shelf because it's more spacious. So it looks quite good. Uh, the Independence Day bust uh, also looks very good inside of a stuva. And then underneath, I only have about 19 inches, which fits a very small one-fourth. Or I just put the tweeter head pennywise, even on a little display riser to give him a little bit extra height. I actually need to take out the little boy and display him in front. Then we got Hellboy, of course. The Terminator wall mount bus I just put there. So there it is. As you can see, it looks quite good. Removing that couch did make this room feel a little bit more spacious. You know, just look how much like walking space and everything. Because couches take up you know quite a bit of depth and space, no doubt. 
So this wall feels massive. Now, like probably one of my biggest walls, I think, if not the biggest, for sure. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six stuvas, and then that little white shelf, and that one, and then technically even over there. So that is basically this room. Uh, my home theater seat arrives on October 26th. That's when it's scheduled for delivery. So we could def definitely do an updated uh, little home theater tour once that and Freddie, Jason, and Myers. I expect both Myers and Jason both next week. So that will be done. And I'm super excited to get that. Then we just got to wait for the Ash one third. And then my one third horror is pretty much done. Unless PCS makes some killer one thirds. Let me show you what I've done in this room. So obviously some things have changed as well. So uh, mostly right here. So I did try doing Medusa in the other room, but she really just does not go well in a stuva if it's like the upper shelf. So I kept her here and I went ahead and uh, raised that shelf a little bit and put Ash there. Uh, so Ash wasn't selling for what I wanted. And if he's not going to sell at that price, I'll just keep him because I still really do love that statue and it looks amazing. Uh, and it goes great with that custom Necronomicon. So I'm probably just going to keep Ash in the tweeter at Pennywise for now. Uh, Although I, I still ideally would like to sell that custom Myers just because I'm getting the one third. But if push comes to shove and I can't sell it for at least four fifty, then I'm just going to keep it and find a good spot for it. Because I still do like it and I don't want to lose too much money on it. Heck, I paid $600 for it trying to sell it for four fifty, and nobody wants it. Uh, this spot right here is currently empty. I, I might just do Marvel here actually. Uh, I originally moved Vision, uh, so like I'm selling this, and I can do one of two things. Put Loki and Ultron up here, so it's the three classic Avenger villains, or I could keep them there. Or I could just spread everything out a little bit more, because right now this is super tight. Everything's pretty much, you know, like touching, literally. Even if I do Loki and Ultron, I'll be able to make it a little bit more spacious by probably five inches. But if I just move Thanos over... The gauntlet, that, that. I would have tons of space to properly display everything and not make it look cluttered. Now, if I did Loki and Ultron up there, I'd probably move Iron Man right there, do Vision there, and then that glass shelf is empty. And then that would also be empty, so not sure what I'd want to do there. Maybe I'd, I'd figure it out. Maybe do Groot. And then just lower Black Widow down there or something. I might just keep this as is though and just scoot everything over. I would love to have it a little bit more spacious. Even thought of just doing Thanos on Throne up top. You know, that way he can get top shelf space. And we can have all three of my one-fourth Thanos up top. Because that could be really cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think I should do with this Marvel space? Ideally, I think I just want to make it look more spacious. I don't like the clutter look at all, like I've said in my previous video. So I definitely am going to make this whole top space look more spacious. You know, I, I like that wall. That looks fine. But I think we, once you get to here, it's a little bit too tight where everything's touching. And I don't like it touching. I like giving stuff a little bit of room to breathe like this. You're able to see the piece and appreciate it much more. So that's basically uh, what's going on right now in the cave. Uh, tomorrow, actually, the Dilophosaurus will arrive. He's going to go up there, top shelf, in between the two little raptors. And then Friday's the ECC Freddy, which I'm extremely excited for. I have always, always wanted that ever since I've seen it. And, you know, when you truly do want something, you will do what is necessary to get it. So I really did want to get the three whore icons uh, in one third scale, because one third is my end game, not one fourth. You know, for me, I think a really good one third is the best type of statue out there. I prefer it over half scale, over life size silicone bus. You know, when I look at like Marcus and Lycan, those two for me are better than any silicone bust out there. I just prefer a full size version of the character versus just a uh, super high-end bust. You know, busts are super cool, but at the end of the day, I'm not a bust collector. I'm a statue collector. So I love, you know, super detailed 
one-third scales and dynamic poses and ECC does some of the absolute best work out there. So that's why I chose Freddie and Jason versus, you know, just getting two silicone busts. So if I wanted to, I could have just got two silicone busts right there. But for me, I'd either get a one-third ECC any day of the week. You know, that for me is the best out there. So let me know your thoughts and comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.